Hi everyone, I'm uh, Emric, Senior Community Developer at Ubisoft, here today with Martin Edmondson, which you may know as the Creator and Creative Director of the Driver franchise. Hi Martin. Hello there. How are you? Uh, good. Bit of a whirlwind day, but good. <laughs> In the middle of the history crazy? Yes, first day. So, Driver is back in what seems to be a high-speed face-off again. As the creator of the franchise, what would you say this new opus represents in the series? Um, well, it's a mixture, really, of the, of the old and the new. So, uh, we, when we set out to design uh, Driver San Francisco, we deliberately uh, went back very much to the roots of the original Driver game. And for that, uh, it meant the original Driver game being the, the ultimate sort of car chase, Hollywood car chase. Uh, fantasy. We took certain elements of the original game, like Driver, uh, the, the, the main character, Tanner, mm -hmm. um, the undercover cop that we met in the first game. Uh, we brought him back. He's a little older, obviously. And uh, also his arch enemy from Driver 2, uh, Jericho, Charles Jericho. We brought him back, and that sets us up for a, a manhunt between these two characters. So that's similar. We also, from the raw gameplay side of things, we wanted to bring back a lot of what made the first game so unique and enjoyable, and that means principally the handling. So we spent a lot of time built from the ground up, the handling to be uh, new, but also to very much feel like the original game. And finally, the city, obviously San Francisco. It featured in the first game, Driver One, mm -hmm. and uh, we've chosen this city for its, uh, you know, its iconic uh, nature. Really, it's the most famous car chase city in the world, made mm -hmm. famous obviously by the uh, the Bullet film for that. And uh, also because it's an interesting city to drive around from a topography point of view and so on, it's, uh, it's a great city. So those are all the, uh, the, the things that will be familiar to people, the whole car chase experience, mm -hmm. and, um, and brought some new things into the mix like the shift ability. You uh, mentioned the Chief Fitter, which is a brand new uh, game changer. So could you tell us how it works and what's the motivation uh from yeah, a shift game is, design perspective. Yeah, it's, it's the big game changer really for, for Driver San Francisco. And um, the, the feature comes about uh, through uh, Tanner. Uh, early in the game, he's involved in a serious incident, and this puts him into a coma. And he doesn't realize he's in a coma. But from the player's point of view, what Tanner is seeing and uh, Tanner thinks is happening in, in, in reality, but actually is in a coma at this point, is that he can be looking down on the city and he can see all the cars and all the people, and he can identify those, uh, those cars. Uh, but more importantly than that, he can instantaneously, seamlessly shift into any vehicle and quickly and shift from one vehicle to another vehicle. And when he shifts into these vehicles, he's then living the life of the person that was uh, driving that vehicle. And, and this, at its simplest level, you can have a lot of fun with it for just swapping cars and just you know, setting up crashes and things like that. But, Ultimately, it's something that is used for uh, during the missions for tactics. So, for example, if you're in the middle of a chase, you can start bringing other vehicles into the chase, using them as, as tools effectively. Uh, so, for example, getting an 18-wheeler rig mm -hmm. to try and help you by head-on smashing into the, the getaway guy, whilst also managing being in the, uh, the cop cars. That's a nice tactic. Tell us about the physics. We've seen some uh, tremendous improvements over the past years. So what will Driver bring to the table? Uh, well, Driver features our own uh, physics engine. We built it from, uh, from the ground up. We, we always have, actually. We've never used proprietary mm -hmm. uh, off-the-shelf physics engines or anything like that. So it's brand new. It's uh, tailored specifically for what we need. Uh, obviously, we get the handling out of it that, that we need, but it deals with all sorts of other things as well. The collisions, you know, very realistic and crumpling of the, uh, the bodywork and damage to the, to the vehicles. And it also, it, it allows us to do some lovely... Uh, little effects with the cars and the handling and the way that the when you're doing a burnout the way it, it actually generates smoke all around the tire and properly fills out the rear wheel arch it's a very realistic uh, effect and, but when you're trying to mimic a car chase from a, a movie it's important to get those little details right okay to finish one question every fan of the franchise is probably wondering will the game soundtrack equal the awesomeness of the previous driver games music has always been a, a big part of uh, driver and uh, we've always used it both in the game but also in the cutscenes and the storytelling. We edit cutscenes to music, uh, much like a lot of movies do. And this is also a very important part of uh, Driver San Francisco. We have around 60 or 70 uh, licensed tracks. And the music choice is very interesting. We don't go for the music that you would expect everyone to have on their iPods, things that get a lot of radio play. Mm. It's quite obscure. Well, it's, it's weird. It's like a familiar sound. You're not quite sure what it is. 
can't quite put your finger on it, but there's definitely something familiar about it. So there are some classics in there, but they tend not to be the ones that get a lot of radio play. And we've got some uh, you know, new artists doing, and uh, DJs, so on, doing remixes and doing uh, new material for us. So it's going to be a, a, it'll be a big part of the game. I can't wait for that. So uh, thank you, Martin, for uh, your time. And uh, thank you for this game. We're happy to see it back to life now. So are we. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait to play that. Uh, so if you want to know more about Driver, you can check out the website at uh, driver-game.com and check out for more history info. Thank you, Martin. No problem. Cheers.